this year it's our sixth six annual Alante XLR Invitational and this year we combined with the Cadillac Alante Club out of New Jersey. Um, we decided to bring more cars together so the two clubs got together. This is their 18th annual show. What really makes this event come together are all the people that participate. We do planning, which is one thing, but having the people to participate, that's what really makes it. You make new friends, everybody has things in common, and all the clubs that promoted it and brought their members here, we give them a big thanks. Our Alante XLR Invitational event started actually in 2016 and we've been going strong ever since. Uh, it's grown bigger and bigger every year. We're represented by, uh, by 16 states and 42 cities. We're just proud and happy to have everybody here that owns an Alante and XLR. If you have one, you should be here because you learn so much about the car. And of course, I want to say thank you to John Lease. Uh, for Harvey Cadillac, the owner of Harvey Cadillac, for giving us everything we needed to put on this great event. It's been a big help. He's part of our family. The Alante Club, you know, that's that's been because I like Alante so much, and then Denny Backus used to work for us. And so he approached me a number of years ago and said, hey, would you like to host our club during the Metro Cruise? And I said, absolutely. And this has got to be by far some kind of a world record for Alantes and XLRs today. We were asked to join forces and come down and have my 18th National Cadillac Alante Clubs meet here. And that's why we're here. And we have a wonderful turnout. So in the fall of 1985, I was 17 years old. I was a senior in high school living in Bloomfield Hills, Michigan. And one of my friends from high school, her father, Thomas P. Schreitmuller, was the program manager of the Cadillac Alante. He called me up one Friday night and said, Tom, the prototype is here. You gotta come over tomorrow morning and I'll let you take it for a drive. We got in the car and we drove it up and down Telegraph Road through Bloomfield Hills and people were dri driving by us and pointing at the car and rolling down their windows and asking what is that because nobody had seen anything that looked like it before. He says, the chairman of General Motors is Roger Smith and Roger Smith is not even gonna see this car until Monday morning. And so I drove it for probably 15 minutes or so up and down Telegraph and I pulled it back in his driveway and took a bunch of pictures and that's my story of driving the very first prototype of the Cadillac Alante. This is our very first time here. Uh, some of our members have been up before, but I have not and the people that came with us it's the, it was their first time also. So we've been very impressed with what's been, how Monica and Denny have organized it, and John Monzo also, and it's just been great. Everything has been just perfect. a 92 Misty Blue Alante. It's our baby and uh, he's been working on it and getting it to run beautifully. We drove it from Beaumont, Texas up here. Ran perfectly. We had a lot of fun in it and he's and we're here. We've, we've been planning to be here for two years and we've made it and had a wonderful time. I had an 87 which is the first year and how I got that car was kind of interesting because I was out on a sales call, I used to be in sales, and I was coming down the hill and I saw this couple pushing this car out in their front yard and it was dirty and it was a white, uh, you know, a pearl. 
Yeah, I knew what it was right away. So I whipped around and I asked him, I said, do you want to sell it today or do you want to wait a while? He says, no, I don't want to wait. He says, well, 2000 I'll, I'll take the car home. So that's how I ended up with that car. We, uh, we lost a, uh, a very, very close friend of ours. Uh, uh, I've known for quite a while. And uh, his name was Pete Kramer. Pete passed away two weeks before the event today. And uh, uh, he'll be sadly and dearly missed. Pete had a 93 Mary Kay Alante, one of the very rarest cars that uh, you could have in the Alante family and, and, and ownership. And Pete uh, was a good, dear friend.